Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the Monday Mayhem Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mike, there is no producer Missy There is this week uh, across all the uh, 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 stuff. Uh, she's getting shook up in California. But Mad Mike, you're with me. You're still mm-hmm. here. You're still here with me, joining me, hanging mm-hmm. out. Hello. Sorg. Can we just talk about Spider-Man? No, we can't talk about Spider-Man because I want to talk about Gary the Goat. No, no, you don't. No, no, no. Nope. We'll get to that. Nope. We'll get to that. Nope. Man, I was, oh, I was, I was afraid that you weren't gonna like what's going on here. We'll get to that. But anyways, um, Raw, 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 Raw is back on its bullshit. Really? Is yeah. that where we're at with it? Yeah, oh, this was fucking on. terrible. Source. No, no, this was fucking terrible. Listen, listen. Okay. No. Well, first of all, hey, let's talk. Wait, 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 look, okay, uh, then we we're gonna need the palate cleanser to begin with here. Okay. So let's just roll right. it back a moment, Mike. Let's do. Just take a deep breath, Mike. And 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 I I I need to tell you about what I learned in wrestling this weekend. Okay. I know I know it's the wrong show for that, but this goes with it. Um, all right, all right. And I need I need a clarification. Okay. Uh huh. Is the purple nurple? An, an illegal move in professional wrestling only in intergender only an in intergender <laughs> i because i feel like that's sexual assault at that because our friend rev ron hunt uh had had uh uh, uh uh the celtic curse uh gavin jacobs in a tag team match uh and uh and and had him in a had him in some scissor thing and gave him a uh a, a titty twister and mm-hmm. uh they started the ref started counting so, okay, oh, yeah, no, I I think that's think, a legal hold. You think that's a it's an illegal hold? You mean? No, I no, I think it's no, I think it's a legal hold. You think it's a legal hold? Legal hold. Okay. Uh, like I said, unless it's intergender wrestling, then it's sexual assault. Okay. Uh, Alex Miller, uh, 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 out there out west, is uh, says it's an illegal move. Um, I will need to consult the WWE uh, book. Unfortunately, there's no uh, glossary in the WWE. <laughs> I mean, Global. I'm pretty sure Hogan did that at some point. I, yeah, that, I really? Do you think? Like, as a face. Do you think he was a purple nurbler? Yeah. Oh, he, everything else on him was purple. Uh, okay. Moving on. So what, what was something you liked from wrestling this week that had nothing to do with anything mm. of Raw? Um, I, don't, I, I like... I liked that there was a reference to Bonesaw in the Spider-Man movie. There was? Yes. When was that? In in the wrestling poster in the background. It was no. Crusher Hogan Crusher Hogan versus Bonesaw. Oh man, I am going to have to rewatch that now. Um mm-hmm. which scene? Sorg, I'm I'm only gonna if you want positivity, I'll either talk about my new fire pit or Spider Man. I'm not gonna mention anything <laughs> about Raw. That's where the positivity is gonna lie, dude. I had a good time today. You know, I, I you know, I'm, I'm on uh, uh, catching up on some of my editing projects and when I have editing, um, you know, whether it be other wrestling shows or or you know, client stuff. Um, but, okay, clients that aren't wrestling, I guess I should say. Um, that's when I catch up on stuff, right? And uh, there's a lot of good stuff from New Japan on uh, Access TV. Uh, they got um, I couldn't get the best of Super Juniors to work. I caught up on Ring of Honor. Um, I got to see Jericho and Okada, dude. Uh, okay. Will Ospreay and Dragon Lee. Uh, John Moxley and that young boy that he's dragging around. Okay. Young line he was dra- dra- dragging around. Like it was it was a pretty good watch today. I caught up on a whole lot of stuff and uh, and that was fun. Um, but uh, I I didn't do that. You didn't I, do I any just, of that. I, I just watched Raw. You just watched Raw. Yeah, and I I made a Dementor. You made a Dementor. The, because that's what Raw feels like. It feels like the Dementor has been sucking out oh, my soul oh, geez. for the past three hours. But we're starting with a match instead of fifteen minutes of talking. You that's, got no, that's fine. But... You know, so hold on, I did have a couple of notes uh, from Twitter. Let me let me let me go see. 
Um, because I bl- I blurred a couple things out on the Mayhem Show, uh, Twitter. <laughs> um, let's see. I also finished the Hogwarts Express work. Oh, fantastic! Um, so so, first of all, we 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 came up with this this um tag team situation that we ended Raw with. Oh boy, did we! Okay, it was a long thread. I can give you that, right? Um. Uh, he- here, here's 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 the thing, Sorg. If you're gonna do this, mm-hmm. where you change the gimp janitor out with Cedric Alexander, mm-hmm. you have Cedric Alexander win. Uh... That's the, that's the whole fucking point of it. No, 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 no. Hold on, that's roll whole, back. Because 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 if you put Cedric Alexander in there, guess what? Cedric Alexander had the essence of surprise and still fucking lost. Okay, this is where we go into I like what happened in the moment versus you like what happened because of what it's going to no, be. No, I next don't week. even like what happened in the moment. It, I loved it. I loved it. It was a nice out of nowhere thing. I was trying to figure out who it was. I thought it was ACH for a minute. No, it was either Ricochet or Cedric Alexander because those are the only two black guys on Raw. The, the true, but but you never know, right? No, you do, you no you do know. <laughs> We have you the street. And, we have and the... it's and it's he's still lost. Okay, okay. Well, it would look silly if 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 he if he won. Yes, that's the entire point. It should look silly. Mm-hmm. Shane was trying to make Roman look like a moron. Mm-hmm. Shane ends up with egg on his face. That's the fucking point. And he still got egg on his face despite losing. No, he didn't. Okay, no, he maybe it's didn't. a little too complicated. How but did he get egg on his face? I have a guy they laughing at me match. through the window right now. This is ridiculous. They uh, won the match. Mm-hmm. But, uh, uh, but it yeah. It wasn't even like Roman beat them down afterwards. Right. No, they just left. Well, I, I, okay, if we're go- if we're going uh, next week, this turns into a lead into... It doesn't the- matter. This week is the pay-per-view. No, no, it leads them up into the pay-per-view. This guy is flashing me with a dollar on his... Um, I'm going to have to take a picture of this now. Um, but this guy is completely... Um, just rubbing his who the is that Thomas Mathis? This is what's going on right now in the studio. I'm um, there. he's got a dollar, and people are like going crazy in my in my window right now. While you're on, this this is oh, probably okay. more interesting to you than what's happening on Raw. Sorg, should 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 I take my top off? Is that I what's re- happening? I really hope I locked the door. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, um. Yeah, there was there was like semi nudity happening on the street. I'll put this on Twitter. Um, okay. I'm <clears throat> confused and aroused. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, no, you shouldn't be. No, you shouldn't be. Nope. Hey, don't tell me how to be aroused. <laughs> that, not for it's what 2019, just happened. Dork. Yeah, it's 2019. yeah. I'm gonna put that on Twitter right now. Um. Okay. Anyways, live podcasting with a window and yeah. drunk people in your neighborhood. Um, Isn't it great? <laughs> I I w- w- did you have any redeemable um value out of this show tonight? Go with that as I collect myself. Uh, Raw ended exactly at eleven. Oh, Sorg, there are like nine matches tonight. Mm-hmm. That's not good. What? There was a bunch of wrestling. That's not. That's a problem. No, there was a bunch of short matches that don't mean anything. Do you know what? Do you know the reward that Sarah Logan and and Dana Brooke got for having a series of cool matches on main event. They both got the job in under five minutes. That is true. Knowing, knowingly. That is true. And and not, and neither of them. And I like the Corey Graves called out the problem with the beat the ca- uh, clock challenges that I always have. What if the other person wins? Yeah, and they never do it. No, they never do. Like you're gonna use jobbers. Use jobbers in that. Don't use the the two girls who were just killing it on main event. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, it's part of that uh, that um, detachment from show to show. Oh, you're doing great over here. That means that you've upgraded the jobber status on the on this show. Like, there's no no crossover. Um, how about the street profits? Um, no, get filtering pay per view. Uh, uh, get, get them uh, off raw. Just send them back to NXT where they can wrestle. There if was you're a- not going to if you're not going to use them in the ring on raw, send them back to NXT. 
There was a good one I saw that uh, uh, there was like, man, if three profits are really excited about this, wait until they see AEW, their minds are going to be blown. Yeah. I, I, like, and they weren't even staring at action. They were staring at a blank screen. Mm -hmm. They were just staring at the logo for Extreme Rules. Like, they weren't even watching the show. They're excited about that. They're excited about that logo, sir. I, 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 I don't even know. I don't even know what this week's raw. Uh, Alex is telling there it, was it, a puppet sighting. Yeah, with Ricochet yeah. tonight. No, no, he's saying Ricochet was the puppet. Oh. No, I don't think he's saying that. Yes, he is. Mm. <laughs> there, there, trust me, I was looking desperately for some entertaining con content. There was nothing. I'm happy that the club's together. I thought the main event was oh fun. I was excited for it. Um, well, I was excited I when... The club is boring. They're so boring. What do you want them to do? So they're coming out and, and being a heel faction and beating up Ricochet. Yeah, except two thirds of them lost to Ricochet. Mm -hmm. So, like, so why can't why can't one of them look good? Mm -hmm. Why can't one of them look good, even if it's a slight distraction? I'm surprised. Like they literally did this exact thing two weeks ago, but it was with. Sammy and Kevin mm -hmm. and Kofi Kingston. They mm -hmm. literally did this exact thing. I'm tired of it. It's already played out. Not as played out as the uh, six-man tag two out of three falls. Oh my God, don't even get me fucking started on that shit. But that's what Raw is, man. I was looking back at stuff. There was a, there was a promo. Um, sure. Why were they wrestling? Why were they wrestling? Why was Elias, mm -hmm. who has not been on Raw in months, mm -hmm. teamed with the Revival. Because of something that happened in SmackDown. Aren't they all in the uh, Shane McMahon Club? Elias is not. No, Elias is in the Shane McMahon Club. No. Elias has not been sipping champagne with them. Mm, he's been doing a lot of wacky shit on SmackDown. Alright, but this is raw. Yeah. Why? <clears throat> oh, yeah, don't get... No, the barriers are gone. There, there's no. Why did we just have a match that where the stipulation is you pick the stipulation in the SmackDown Women's uh, 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 yeah. Championship on even though Raw? Nikki, even though Nikki Cross said weeks ago that she was able to pick the stipulation. Nikki Cross said that two weeks ago. Well, on that was before they had a uh, talent no. executive director mm. to help with continuity. Who, by the way, I don't think they were doing anything this week. Except for maybe implying Maria cheating on her husband. Yeah, that's. I'm surprised that's continuing. They, the though. only, the only redeeming part of Raw mm -hmm. was when Mike Kanellis reacted. What are we doing? <laughs> because <laughs> Mike Kanellis. That's the time. That's how this guy felt. That's Mike Kanellis just, just, just channeling all of us watching Raw. Like we're doing this now. Um, like, like it, Raw was such hot garbage. <laughs> I just think, hot garbage from tip to tail. I think I think they're reaching for um, between the Maria thing, between the uh, mass janitor Cedric Alexander thing. Like we're getting more of the what can happen next. We got no. that. La no, no, we are. Okay, these are attempts. Whether they're working for you, Mike, they are working for some of us. Okay, so we gotta we gotta just just not, step not back from the from Twitter feed I'm reading. All right. <laughs> Um, You're the only person who I've heard has had positive things to say about this raw. It was, and I think it's because you're only half paying attention. Uh, well, I, I pay attention as much as I can because if I pay attention, I mean, I'm paying attention to it. If as you much pay attention too much, you're not going to like it. What? If I pay attention, I'm paying to attention to it as much as you are building Legos. I'm, ba I'm not building Legos during raw. I finished this last week. Oh well, okay. I, well, I'm still in Lego mode, okay? You're you're building those. I'm building something else over here. Uh, so, <laughs> um, anyways, um, no, I think they they they're they're trying to make it so there's more happening and not like, hey, let's have a match for a half an hour, right? Because that's no, not what's that, that's not what's going to capture somebody's attention. It's, it's yeah, but on nine a Monday matches, night. 
nine matches in a three hour show is also not going to capture but, people's attention when there's no story. Okay. There's no story. There's no purpose behind it. Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, who is a top fan in our chat room, uh, says that uh, he didn't think it was horrible. That's a that's a great compliment. Let's let's put that on the on the is box there, art. Wait, wait, wait. What raw. is an amazing raw? When's the last time we've had an amazing last holy week. shit that raw? Last week. Really? That was a yeah, holy that was shit that's amazing raw? That was a really good that was, show. You know what my you know, after that raw, you know what I was like? Huh, that was pretty good. That was that was that was okay. Compared to what we've had in all of twenty nineteen. And I'm going that with was an amazing Compared to what we've had in and 2019, now back on its bullshit. No, no, it's not. As yeah, bad as it was. Not there as was bad as there was. was literally no surprises to me. Mm-hmm. There was literally no surprises and uh, nothing. Our happened. friend ring announcer Nick Farah out there of Black Diamond and Angel Gate says it's a slow trans. It, it's a slow transition to TV 14 to not freak everyone out too quick. He likes it. Anywhere I, we? TV 14 is not the answer. It's not the answer, but it's the way they're going. Yeah, but. But it's not the answer. Mm-hmm. If you don't tell compelling storylines and have interesting characters, it doesn't matter if you show straight up nudity on TV. No, it's still not going to be interesting. I think we'll see how this Maria thing plays out. Um, oh my god! We'll see if 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 who's behind the door and and where the puppets go and and everything like that. There's still they've a lot completely of forgotten about that about the Bray Wyatt about, thing about Bray Wyatt. Guarantee they've completely forgotten about it. Okay. Uh, Lashley rose from the dead tonight, apparently. Not really. No? He, he was already he was cutting an Instagram promo on SmackDown last week. <laughs> he was. He was. Um, way to sell that. The, 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 so the, he received the move and got put through the set. Mm-hmm. And he didn't walked away. sell a damn thing right. from Right. He... He's walking around having a match tonight, and then like like nothing happened. And then um, Braun like has a severed spleen or something, whatever that means. Um, yeah, I, actually, I think it was the spleen that ruptured um, in DJZ slash uh, Walking Wilds um, burr, 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 burr. incident in Mexico. Uh, so, not to make light of that, but still, like in this mm-hmm. case, it's kind of a weird thing. The only thing that was interesting on this week's fall was. For that half second, I got to see DJ Z on the Evolve promo. Yeah, it's still weird to me that we're talking about Evolve on WWE Raw. Get used to it. <laughs> Get also, used to it. Also weird to me that I saw Gargano's uh, uh, catering, which I have filmed wrestling behind that building. <laughs> wrestling from that that behind that building is available to you at indie wrestling.us um johnny gargano's best of from prime wrestling um i think it might be on the network i can't recall if i put that up there um so so yeah and and seeing several several friends of the show in that crowd at that training seminar including aiw's john thorne dr dan um, Rockingham, PB Smooth, um, and I'm I'm sure there's some others that I didn't I didn't catch in the moment, but uh, yeah, that was that was weird. Doctor Dan was on TV, in WWE TV. This yeah, this is, this is a different th- world. This weekend is going to be entirely weird. This is gonna be a weird weekend in wrestling. Yeah, man. It's I, gonna be real fucking weird weekend. I pl- well, it's it's gonna be weird wrestling and add to what we're doing here in Pittsburgh. So yeah, we are. There's gonna be a lot happening. It's um, gonna be a weird weekend, Sorg. Is this fight for the fallen a pay per view? Who the fuck knows? That I did not catch. Yeah, I don't even know. I think I, 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 they're giving you away for free. So, I mean, the elite's gonna win all their matches. Mm. I can tell you that right now. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I I, I think the rules are not written for this. I was actually watching some of the being in the elite today. So um, there's one match where the elite is guaranteed to win. <laughs> okay, you got me there. <laughs> there is, there is literally the there's young a, bucks. There's a match where it's guaranteed. Yeah, someone from the elite is winning. <laughs> but also, it's guaranteed that one of them is going to lose. Not necessarily. Not if Dustin gets pinned. <laughs> Wait, oh if man! Dustin gets pinned and Cody gets chased out of the ring by Sean Spears, which you know is going to happen. 
You're telling me so in my in my imagining of this, it's just like WrestleMania eight. No, no, it was a WrestleMania eight. Yes, it was WrestleMania eight where like the Ultimate Warrior came in and chased away. No, I'm thinking yeah. SummerSlam. I'm thinking the SummerSlam, where where he chased off um, oh, Sergeant Warrior? Slaughter's uh, lackeys and we never saw Ultimate oh. Warrior again. But that's Sean Spears as Ultimate Warrior. No, uh, no, he's the lackeys. Wait, you know what? I'm getting confused now. No, yeah. Cody Rhodes is Ultimate Warrior in this scenario. I mean, isn't he always? Is he? <laughs> I, is he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I learned a lot about... There, there was viscous liquid pouring from his there head. Was, so. There was. There was. <laughs> um, th- there wow. was. Wow. Um, I learned about Brandy Rhodes' um, um, former figure skating career on one of those videos uh, today mm. as well. But, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I did promise you. Is, is Anything else of redeeming quality from Raw? Oh, from Raw? No. Okay. I, I did learn that... Um, I believe it was either today or yesterday, 25, uh, no, more than that, 35 years ago, the Macho Man made his debut in Poughkeepsie, New York. Oh. Yeah, that that's where that's where the Macho Man first started in WWE in Poughkeepsie. So, wow. So you're welcome, world. Was was it was he um was he yet to be on that courting a manager? Uh, yeah, that that that, that was the he second. He started with it. Wow. Place in Poughkeepsie. I probably watched that then. Awesome. Yeah, I know I've seen it recently. <laughs> um, so sorry, people are responding to our Yahoo's outside. <laughs> so I did promise that we could yeah. talk about Spider Man. So spoiler uh, alert! Spoiler, oh, alert spoilers. spoiler alert! Hold on. Spoiler well, alert. well, I got the spoiler Avengers alert. spoilers. So th- he's technically he's an Avenger now, so it, it counts. It's up on the screen now. Um, mm-hmm. so if you did not watch Spider Man Far From Home. I I, I, I promise. Exit the chat now, because as soon as we talk the official talk, I'm going to say something that spoils the mid credit scene of the movie, and there you don't you go. want that. We're you, gonna you don't want that. I'm because I'm really excited to talk about it. It's time and to go. I, I, it's time to go. It's it's time to go for you. Sort yes. sort five five four mm-hmm. spoilers are coming. Three mm-hmm. spoilers are coming. Two spoilers are coming. One spoilers are coming. That wall crawler's a menace, Sorg! Oh, jeez. I can't believe they got him back. I'm I can't believe so they got JK back. I'm so fucking wow. excited, Sorg. I was reading Sorg, our... do you know what I said in the theater as soon as that scene ended? Mm. A toast to the death of DC's Jim Gordon. <laughs> That's what I said out loud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All, all... That's what I said out loud oh. in the theater. Almost, almost nobody's coming back, let's be honest. Um... You know, th- this gives me hope that they'll just bring Dylan Baker back so he can be the lizard we deserved. <laughs> and not Xenophilius Lovegood. <laughs> That's who that was. I'm not, I'm not... In, the amazing, in the Amazing Spider-Man, mm-hmm. the actor who played the lizard was Luna Lovegood's dad. I don't... Who's Luna Lovegood? Harry Potter, Sorg. Oh, come on, man. I'm not that deep into it sorry so you so you don't know one of the main characters Luna Lovegood was that the ghost oh my oh my god Sork well, all right before you make me angry let's just talk about Spider-Man how yeah, much fun yeah I love I've never seen a post credit scene change the tone of the entire movie yeah twice just watched twice twice yeah because first you saw Jonah's back and then it's like oh yeah everyone's happy then it's like Hey, guess what? Peter Parker is Spider Man. Fuckers. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is no, no. That that st- that changes the tone of where we're going, but the post post credit scenes changed the entire movie we just watched. Oh yeah, well that's true. Yeah, that's that's, that's the exciting yeah. part. Um, yeah, and 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 I was reading about like the the little clues they dropped in there, and it was a nice explanation of like why why did why did Mysterio completely get over on these guys. Um, I love the story. I love the turn. You know, I mean, I think as deep Spider-Man fans, he kind of knew where it was going, um, but maybe not how they were going to do Look. it. Look, it's Nick Fury. Uh huh. Get it? Get it? It's Nick Fury. <laughs> um, problem I had, although it can be explained away that everything was fake anyways. Uh huh. Cinematic Marvel is not Earth Six One Six. 
Yeah, I know. But he was just making all that bullshit up. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Was just... Yeah, he, he was literally making all of that up. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter. Because no one in the MCU knows that there is a multiverse. No. No, this was the first quote clue that we had. Oh, except for Doctor Strange. He knows. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He's aware. He is aware. But uh, he doesn't he doesn't like he's never seen and it. And it's been alluded to it with the time stream through yeah. Infinity War and did we fix all that and where did Loki go with the cube and that kind of stuff. But that's alternate timelines, not alternate uh, dimensions. Oh or ultimate, but aren't alternate, ultimate universe. dimensions also they, no. it, it, it depends on the definition. It, it depends on yeah. the rules, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I guess. So um yeah. So, uh, very enjoyable. Um, the Mysterio, like, crazy, kooky, fun house of, of images oh, no, was okay. just straight out of the book for me. Um, you, got, you, got, you got a glimpse of Marvel zombies? I don't know if I just don't remember it because I saw people talking um, about it afterwards. Zombie Iron Man. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, oh, it's dead Iron Man. But I guess I didn't connect yeah. that in my head with, but Marvel zombies. It's like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, hey, it's dead zombie Mar- Iron Man, not Marvel zombie Iron Man, right? Yeah. So I, d- I, I didn't think of that way. I just think it thought of it just in context of what was going on. So that's fair. But also, uh, I thought MJ was great mm-hmm. with an expanded role. I liked that. That was mm-hmm. good. Um, Ned was fantastic as always. Mm-hmm. They showed a little too much in the trailers for me. Okay. A little too much. Like I, I would, I would have gone the end game route and showed a little less. Because mm-hmm. like you, like anyone who knows anything about Mysterio, automatically figured out what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to figure. Like, am I spoiling my wife by saying, you know, Mysterio is actually the bad guy and it's gonna go this way, right? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Have spo- I would, by the way, he's totally not dead, right? Uh... He's, he's totally not. He's totally not dead. No, no, no. He's totally dead, and the whole no, thing is he's I'll, totally I'll, dead. Or Tybot bet. Tybot bet. Oh, hold on a second. Tybot bet on this. Hold on, All right. I don't know if we'll ever discover this, but uh, Tybot bet. Tybot bet. I, I'm. I feel like I still already owe you this. Probably. And I'm not going to Thailand to get more. That's fine. I I, I wouldn't ask you to. But hold on. Could you imagine if we all went to Thailand? <laughs> just for a bet. <laughs> just for a bet. But like, listen, I need a, I need a Thai bot. Let's go to, let's go, sword, let's go to afford, affordableasia.com. Let's get out there. It, if they had access to Tony Stark's hologram technology, mm-hmm. Tony Stark's drone technology, mm-hmm. logic sit, at least sits in my brain that they'd have access to life model decoys. Um, Technically, life model decoys do exist in the Marvel Universe. Uh, I know. Via Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., that's what I'm saying. You can bring it, up, you can bring it over. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. And hmm. and it's even existed in the MCU proper because Tony answered his phone in the Avengers that you have reached the life model decoy of Tony Stark. We did. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, that Mysterio was a robot. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Fool me three, four, five, six, one, nine times, shame <laughs> on Mysterio. Oh, that was good. Well, at least something brought us joy this week. Um, so oh, Spider Man, Spider Man, and my fire pit brought me great joy. <laughs> and Super Mario Maker Two. Doctor Mario World is dropping on Wednesday. Wait, Wednesday? Wednesday, sir. Is that a free game or no? I think it's, yeah, it's going to be a free to play, like yes! you know, freemium. It. It's going to be like, a fr- like the uh, like the Tetris game. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be freemium. It's going to be. Oh wait, is it on mobile or on the Switch? Mobile. Oh, okay. I'm probably not going to get it. Then. Well, it's also upside down. It's upside down, Doctor Mario. Ew. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't, I don't like that. So at all. I don't know if you've noticed, I've been playing the original Game Boy Doctor Mario the last two nights. I, I saw I saw a, a shot of that. That's pretty mm-hmm. great. I was actually playing Smash Brothers as Doctor Mario. <laughs> we all have our ways to get ready. As I'm waiting because I got that ten days with the uh, Mario Kart beta, and then it went away. And there's no doc- there's no Mario Kart yet. And 
well, at least there'll be enough time that if they have to start me over and they don't give me my save game from the beta, I think I'll be okay, okay. doing it again. I, I'm just gonna keep playing Mario Maker. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun. I have many ideas to make levels in my head. Like I want to make wrestling theme levels. Oh, can we say congratulations to uh, ROH champion Wheels? <laughs> oh yeah, nice. Congrats. <laughs> Talk about a progressive company. Is there... <laughs> Actually, one, one thing we should mention. Mm. I got to give credit where credit's due. Impact. Mm -hmm. Intergender main event. Mm -hmm. uh, credit where credit's due. Tina, you just missed us spoiling the hell out of Spider-Man, so you're yeah. welcome. Or it depends. She could still be on the delay with the spoilers up. I don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> man. If she's on delay, Tina, I'm sorry. We warned everyone. We, we will did. not say yeah. anything now that I've seen you join, mm -hmm. but it's really good. Mm -hmm. Um. So, speaking of progress... Um, <laughs> and evolve and evolving. Uh, we we got, we used to be really excited about a guy um, um, named Troy Lords, whose moniker at the time was Balls Hot. Balls Hot. Yes. Uh, Chad the Shad used to yell that a lot, and he's yeah, going to no, be I, joining I, us. I was, I was bringing it back. He's bringing it back. Um, he's going to be joining us uh, tomorrow on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, of course, leading into uh, there will be a Friday Night Fight Society is going down. And uh, it's a big change for them. And if you're not in the Pittsburgh area, I'm going to say you need to pay attention Friday night. Um, so, uh, and we'll talk more about that probably tomorrow night. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of surprises for you. And uh, he's going to be on hanging out with us. And, and we'll be catching up with him. Because I think we did interview him like back in the Balls Hot era. And oh, we definitely did. And now he's like, he's... He's a very different Troy Lords. You, you, you've told me there's glitter. There's a lot of glitter, dude. There's a lot of okay. glitter. Like, okay. like we, we we need something new to yell for him. So, uh, well, well, there's some things, but they're unkind. Um, no, I mean like something positive, like like <laughs> balls hot. I don't know if he has a moniker going right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, well, right, I think so that that's our goal. I think he was well. part of sexual harassment for for a time, and and actually the the latest iteration of Troy Odds is very kind of back to that that sexual harassment kind of era. So um, when he won his Fight Society Championship in December, uh, I believe he was wearing a dress. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. Um, just th kind of think Zombie Princess uh, Jimmy Jacobs with more glitter probably is a good connection point for you but no it'll be good to have him in and catching up he's just back okay ever. so zombie princess jimmy jacobs crossed with nxt debut alexa bliss there you go there you go okay done done we'll have a moment with troy tomorrow um it's <laughs> balls hot so it's gonna be exciting a lot of stuff going on there and we actually have uh two interviews going on wednesday um some guys a lot of you guys probably haven't heard of um some newer guys out there um we have aj alexander who just teamed up with our friend rev ron hunt as uh part of the new tag team jesus club in west virginia <laughs> you all right over there <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on i had I, I went to Catholic school for 12 years. I have jokes. Um, uh huh. Is there finished the double cross arm breaker? Um, you know what? I didn't catch the name of their finish, but it how, is. How about, how about how about the high cross? I I think that'd be a good how, name how, for the finish. How about a crucifix bomb? You know, can you just tweet the two of them <laughs> and just drop all these ideas on them? <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm trying to get married at a church, Sork. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. You know. You never know. <laughs> yeah, you never know. You never know. Hey, he's all right. I mean, he is for real reverend. So yeah, that's he was talking that's about all the baptisms enough. yesterday. Like this is for real. So you know, if you need okay. it, if you need somebody to preside, I can't get you McFoley. But we can probably get you the Reverend Hunt. As long as he doesn't come out in a scary throne, I think we're. <laughs> Have you seen his Jesus mask? His barbed wire Jesus mask. Oh boy! Oh boy! Has he ever had a crown of thorns match? Because he probably should. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good <laughs> having idea. A, having, having, a, having a good Friday next year. You need to. Okay, you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you need, I, you need I to stop myself. <laughs> you need to tweet that one to Marshall Gambino for his promotion. 
So I feel like it's the next step. Marshall, just just book Revron Hunt, Good Friday, and a Crown of Thorns match. Mm-hmm. Oh, that that's oh, gonna do God. so. That's gonna do so well in the Bible Belt. <laughs> Having the same night as the Taipei Pene match. <laughs> Call it the wedding of Cana. <laughs> Guys, this has been the Monday Mayhem wrap up slash uh, Spider Man spoiler show. Uh, Mad Mike is with us. Because I'm probably going to go to hell. Mad Mike 483 on the Twitters. YouTube.com slash Poppy. (laughs) I I think, given what I just said, that actually tracks. Mm hmm. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We will, again, like I said, be here at 9 p.m. Tuesday <laughs> night, and you guys can join us for that Wrestling Mayhem show and Wednesday night, uh, I believe, 7 and 8 o'clock on the IndieWrestling.us page. A lot of great stuff going on. Black Diamond just posted on the Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, all kinds of good stuff. Thank you. Oh, just that's too soon. Just that's wait. too soon. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I was preloading that one. Um, but uh, thank you that's so what much. Said? What's that? That's what she said. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought I was preloading. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Where's that button at? Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.